Howdy guys, how's it going? So I thought today would be a great day to uh, hit the mountain and come out to a spot where we had our night cat lay flat hammock and give the Haven tent lay flat hammock a good winter test because today like right now uh, I looked at my thermometers based off what the weather says it's 27 or 28 degrees at the moment we're supposed to get some uh, winter weather coming in uh, as far as precipitation one to three inches it's been like wind snowing just blowing some really light stuff around so that's why I wanted to hurry and get this set up I brought a smaller tarp with me but I would prefer to avoid having to set it up because <clears throat> the way the trees and stuff are spaced out here uh, there's not really a great way and there's so much like thick laurels that'd be kind of difficult I did bring a Mission Mountain chair with me just to take up space in that backpack and uh, it, for any of you that are curious that's the TT uh, Tasmanian Tiger uh, load bearing frame with the uh, the pack that is designed for it and I got to put gloves on and put this bare skin fleece because hiking in and moving around Jesus that's sorry about this I'm gonna have to just play around with adjusting this tarp because the tension changes when you actually get in the hammock but I've just got on a moisture wick and uh, wind rider sun shirt and like hiking in being warm but now the winds picked up There we go that should work better I'll load you guys down um i don't know why just i guess it's this material stretch and those lines want to go slack this is only the second time i have set up and will be using the even tent i brought that foam pad with me and i think I, what i was in the middle of saying is that a tasmanian tiger load bearing pack it looks like I've brought everything including the kitchen sink but all that's in there at the very bottom is that lucky sheep uh, wool sleeping bag uh, if you watched the last video we used it in our wall tent but it's rated uh, down to 20 degrees we've got our clothing we've got the Haven tent pad that comes in this uh, I think truthfully it's gonna be it by itself gonna be warm enough because I want this thing I'm only It'll probably stretch a little bit more and I'll adjust it even more. But uh, at my midsection, when I'm actually laying flat, I should have about six inches for me in the ground. So that'll cut down like how much wind's able to cut up underneath us. But in that pack, sorry, in that pack, uh, yeah, I got that sleeping bag, just a couple extra layers. I had my bare skin fleece in there. Cause I've just got the two uh, back corners of this fly stake down to the ground at a, at a steep angle because a lot of the wind is coming from that direction right now. You might be able to tell by the way the snow's blowing. And make a place to uh, have a fire because I've got some Barvo broth that I want to put on and have something hot to sip on for a bit. Uh, I just took and brought out a ReadyWise Pro uh, beef, uh, I think it's beef bolognese, bolognese, something like that. And that's what we'll be eating tonight. But I am noticing like right now this insulated uh, blow up pad sitting on it with the wind blowing from that backside still going underneath like my butt's warm like it's so it's it's definitely holding heat and that's like a single point of contact. So yeah like I'm just looking in the viewfinder there we got plenty of room and I've taken try to raise it but I've already got it kind of like head height so just have to play around with it. I'll probably I'll roll this up because we definitely don't need uh, a bug screen. Okay, so it's getting a lot breezier, but I got a fire pit put together, and I got the large rocks right here on this back end, and that's the direction the wind seems to be coming from. Uh, but these are fire plugs from a County Com, like same company that uh, makes that glow in the dark stuff I've been using. And these seem very, very dense, kind of like when you dip a cotton ball in paraffin wax and let it soak all the way through. 
that's good for waterproofness but it does make them a little bit more difficult to work with whenever I would use the cotton ball that I made dipped in wax I would always take my multi-tool and use it just to kind of break it up and just pull some of the cotton out get more surface area got to give it a second to kind of melt through that thick wax layer for it to catch and since it's so dense it should have longer burn time so that's why I'm throwing on some larger than uh, larger than usual sticks to start it with plus these was off the ground so most of the stuff that's on there right there at the bottom's pretty dry where it's been so windy The wind is definitely picking up. Uh, I think it might have it might be blowing this uh, the storm we're supposed to be getting past us. It's showing right now that it's just moved down to a 50% chance. But I uh, got the fire going. I just took and pushed everything down and got ready to put some water on to boil. This right here is what I'm gonna have right now. Uh, oh, it's called bar <coughs> Borvo broth or Barvo. One, two. This is the beef and vegetable one, and it is my favorite. They have a chicken one. And it's not bad by any means, but this one hands down is uh, my personal favorite. And so for this broth, you want eight ounces of water. Okay, well, we got our beef broth, but I gotta say, I'm getting extremely frustrated <laughs> with the wind right now, because it will not pick a direction. Where I'm like halfway up a valley here, the wind is just, it, it's swirling, and it, without exaggeration, changing direction every 10 to 30 seconds. Uh, <clears throat> like, I can't do nothing around the fire, that's why I'm not screwing around with uh, putting, like opening up my Mission Mountain chair, because I can't even stand 10 foot away and stay out of the smoke uh, for more than a minute working around it. So I'm, I'm probably gonna let it die out now 
and hope that the wind dies off later whenever we make our, uh, whenever we need to boil water for our meal, like to rehydrate it. Because I took and I unstaked the, uh, the back of the rain fly here because this uh, Haven tent has toggles and stuff on the corner and then this elastic loop in the center to where you can fat, like essentially button the fly down and I thought that would be the best thing to do for the back since uh, the wind was just predominantly coming from my back direction. But then since it's switched, uh, it's just swirling through and everything that I keep having, I've tried setting the chair, everything but my full backpack, it's just catching the, uh, the rain fly even with one flap open and the wind is just about like it's just dumping everything and like picking this uh picking the hammock, <coughs> hammock up and almost turning it a full 360 degrees unless i'm sitting in it so i don't mind the wind when it like you know it picks a direction and sticks with it but whenever it's doing this it's just it's not fun <laughs> Oh, that is very nice. Like, I wish that, like, whatever the vegetable flavor aspect of this beef version is, I wish they would do that to the chicken, and I think that would, like, balance the flavor out and uh, make it more of, like, kind of what I thought it was in my head before I tried the chicken-flavored broth. Um, but, then, like, the beef one here is just super, like, savory, and it just has a ton of flavor. Being outdoors like this... Uh, Whenever it's super cold and windy, it just warms your insides up. Guys, I'm going to take and do a bit more brainstorming on how exactly I want to configure uh, configure this. Uh, like tonight, whenever I'm laying in it, I might undo these guy lines that are running and making her on in here, and then also button them down. But we'll see. I kind of like having one side open as long as the wind's, you know, not coming from that direction. Just to have view and to have really solid airflow. Because I know that I got more than enough, <clears throat> like, sleeping and, and clothing with me to be warm regardless. Oh, see, look, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Like, it wants to pick up that back end when it's not staked down. And it's just a full, like, just the wind is at a 360 degree cycle right now. Well, it's getting darker and colder, but the wind finally calmed down. Uh, I wasn't able to even really record much there for a short bit. I just let the fire uh, go out because the wind was getting up to, like, gusts of 30 miles an hour. And then within, like, the hour, it's just dropped down at about 10 the 13 mile per hour wind gusts, which is a crazy shift in such a short amount of time. Still taking and just blowing uh, wind snow around. So I'm still really surprised at how small this thing compresses for it to be insulated with wool. Go ahead and get her pillow situated too. The important thing whenever you're uh, using the embers and stuff to start back, as long as stuff ain't wet, you just want your small sticks to be making direct contact or even, I've done it where you, I've started with like index finger size with hardly any coals to mention left over and you're good. And then I just start spreading things out around them. Like some of these have ice on them. I just kind of set the outside so before I introduce any of that moisture near 
our main source of ignition. And you can start upgrading size pretty quickly. And if you're wondering, I forgot my uh, pocket bellow. I, first time I forgot it in a hot minute, but I like I switched out pants that I was wearing. There we go. Once you got that flame going, you're pretty much set. So I'm going to finish adding this and get it going what we had it. And then uh, we'll get some water boiling and have ourselves a nice hot meal. So the meal we're going to be having tonight is, I, I think it's pronounced beef bolognese. Uh, and kimchi fried rice. I, I, I'm really not sure about the pronunciation, but looks and sounds very, very good. And for this one, we need 10 ounces of boiling water. So let's get that going because the fire's rocking and rolling now, and the wind is doing what it's been doing. <laughs> Give her a good old stirring up. It's not fully rehydrated, obviously, because we're not closed up and sealed it, but that right there looks like a very nice, hearty meal. Alrighty, I'm going to let that rehydrate, and I'll see y'all back at the... Uh, Put my headlamp around the uh, middle of the tripod so hopefully that works because I knew otherwise I'd just be blinding y'all but let's see how this meal turned out oh yeah this is the best ready wise meal I've tried so far Dang, bro, that's got a lot of really nice seasoning in it. Well, guys, I'm going to take and, uh, this is actually really, really good. I'm going to take and finish this and wait until the fire finishes doing its thing, and then I will be back with y'all before it's time to uh, hit the hay for the night. I think I'm going to leave this uh, on and up just for ease of getting in and out if I gotta pee. Mm. Well guys, it is 
time to uh, finally hit the sack. Um, I had a 3-in-1 thermal that I wore uh, in the, the wall tent video. But I think since I've already got this uh, bearskin hoodie warmed up, I'm just going to stick with it instead of taking it off and putting that on and then you know, potentially having to put the bearskin on over it. But I, I think that this sleeping bag is going to work good because I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Where I was waiting by the fire, well, except for my kneecap where I last bent down, everything about my pants is dry. So since I don't really need, I got an insulated pad underneath me, so I don't need to have the whole thing fully zipped up. I do gotta say one thing I really love about this thing is it's got a million different pockets. I'm just gonna put this down there. And I just like my clothing stuff that I'm not using. I'll put it around my feet area. And I'll just have my boots sitting right here outside of or tent. Stuff got a lot colder. My, I just have untied my shoe and I don't want to get my stuff wet, but the thermometer's on the other side. We'll see what it says in the morning. The beautiful thing about this sleeping bag is I can actually get in this with sweaty socks and it should still keep my feet completely warm and actually help dry my socks out because of uh, the wick and properties of it. been a really good idea to unzip this before I got in it. I'm going to kind of turn this over in the part that's going to be covering our upper body. We're going to have situated kind of like a quilt. And then I am going to have the mosquito net down and that's just to keep this corner from falling off the edge during the night. It's over there. There we go. I can still have my little light here. here. And this will just make sure that our quilt stays, uh, or this sleeping bag slash quilt will stay on top of us. And now I've got my legs from the knee down zipped up underneath. And then I can still have my head underneath this and get the, uh, the wicking properties from it. So I'm going to leave my toboggan on. Oh. But I, I mean, I already know after that first night that we spent in this hammock, it's nothing but a hundred levels of comfort. <clears throat> We're still good, plenty of distance off the ground. But yeah, guys, I'm going to take and, and get cozy, and I will talk to y'all in the morning with an update. And hopefully the wind isn't uh, beating us down in the morning. <laughs> Oh, good morning guys how's it going <clears throat> so it's just a little bit after uh, 5 a.m. oh I got up to uh, I got up to pee and uh, check the monitors and the wind has definitely come back to uh, haunt us they uh, sent out a wind chill warning right now the um, 
the outside temp is about 17 to somewhere between 15 to 17 degrees um but with oh and there we go it's enough to rot the boat um but the wind chill is actually down right around zero, so it's pretty dangerous wind chill. I put my foam mat down on top of the sleeping pad like three hours ago, four hours ago, or well, I guess about about midnight, so about five hours ago. Um, I'll tell you one thing, as soon as you get up to go pee with that cold wind, uh, that's one way, it's like a cold plunge to wake you up. But I will say this, I'm extremely impressed with this sleeping bag it's rated down to 20 i still i put like when i got to pee i put my schmock and stuff on i did leave my boots on and i unzipped this whole thing to uh, serve as a quilt and just tuck the ends under and left the end closed and i got my boots pressed against it and it's like 60 some degrees in here uh when i last looked at the thermometer i'm really glad i put this glow thing on here because it does make it really easy to find since we're shielded from uh, most of the wind, like seven, like 70% of it is coming from the direction where I have the fly down, but it's still doing that whole 360 wraparound crap. Um, but yeah, and like with the wind going underneath, the insulating pad was, the, like the blow up insulated pad was doing decent, but it, you start, you did, it did start to seep through, but with this uh, closed cell foam on top of it, <clears throat> And where the closed cell foam has this like more of a reflective silver top to it um i'm really glad that i brought that but yeah guys i'm gonna take and uh, try to get a bit more sleep and uh head out as soon as the sun comes up and i'll be doing that pretty uh pretty quickly just to especially if the wind's still going so i wanted to do the final sign, sign off here uh yeah the haven tent phenomenal well you know it's a tent it's a hammock it's two or three things in one um but i'm looking forward to taking this uh, sleeping bag on a bushcraft out and uh, hopefully pretty soon so anyways as always guys i really appreciate taking time to watch the video please make sure you hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already share the channel with your friends family anybody that enjoys good old outdoor activities and gear if you're interested in any of the gear that i've used in this video or any of my other ones always make sure you look down at the video description because that is where uh, i try to link to everything that's still available on the internet that i use and uh, with all that said until the next one guys adios